But it ain't really break no code, man. Before we get into this video and everything like that, make sure you subscribe, turn on that bell to stay notified. But it ain't break no code. Let's let's keep it all the way authentic. If you didn't know, now you know. But if you've been on this channel, you got the bell subscribed and everything like that, you already know that. That's why I told y'all, bro, it was a, I, I believe, I believe, because they don't really specify the money. Now, you know, it could have been a cut. Hey, whoever involved, you get 60 bands a piece, you get 40 bands a piece. Three people already involved, 120,000. You see what I'm saying? And that's on the lower end, right? So when y'all see this video, just understand this man is one in pain, two still riding an internet high and i know that's no excuse and i'm not really trying to make one i'm just trying to get y'all to a level of understanding when you hear cuz talk cuz sound like he in pain and if we gonna be fair square obvious and honest bro when we move an emotional sometimes the emotions gonna get the best of us we're gonna run this video after we run this intro because he's doing a lot of cussing and everything like that i had to let the video get to like a two minute mark so that's why I'm kind of like, if you notice and everything like that, if you want to skip ahead, just tap the button to about the two minute mark and everything like that. And then we'll really get it started. But other than that, we just got to wait a little bit because I still got to monetize this video and all the F-bombs and everything because it's dropping. That's what it is. But when y'all listen to this, right, I want you to understand, is this a man who is talking like he's in the right emotional state? Or does this sound like a man who is mad? angry upset and emotional but i'll let y'all decide that run my intro please they used to say words couldn't hurt me videos just my name they getting thirsty go ahead and put him in a hearse it's getting murky this time i deserve this i'm ready for whatever war said he been a mad at doors yeah. for the days i'm dreaming for i mean Kevin. get the motherfucking cemetery all at the cemetery, smoking weed, all at the cemetery, doing this, doing that. Bro, I took offense to that, bro. I talked to this my baby mama, bro. This is my baby mama crying on the phone, bro. Sad, bro. This my kid. I heard this my little boy say, man, I miss my daddy. And that woman couldn't say nothing to that little boy. Man, if you ain't if, uh, you ain't no real nigga if you don't stand on nothing behind your partner and them. You know what I'm saying? If your partner, something happened to your partner, you ain't no real nigga if you don't stand behind it. And I'm just, I'm just, I just stand on principle, bro. I couldn't hear that, bro. That shit down and put tears in my eyes, bro. When I heard that, that, that little boy Trey Trey say, man, I miss my dad, mom. When I heard that, that fucked me up, bro. That shit fucked me up. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Juke, if I see Gotti, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see Migo, if I see Young Star, I'm going to get on that. This shit ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said, if I see them folk. Because these folk got some, had something to do with it, bro. These folk, nigga don't know that Juke put a hit out, bro. Nigga don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying? But nah, fuck all that, bro. I need to say that. Niggas ain't gonna say that. Nigga ain't gonna, nigga ain't gonna tell the truth, bro. Nigga ain't, nigga ain't say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if a nigga told you, hey, man, look, bro, my Juke put a 40,000 hit on you, bro. Like, you, nigga, man, come on, bro. I'm standing on that. I ain't no, I ain't, uh, bro, I'm not no shake ass nigga, bro. I ain't no nigga finna tell me a nigga put $40,000 on my head and I'm finna do this. Bro, anybody that associate with you, and this ain't got nothing to do with them other folks, bro. Cause they ain't in no, in no, in no, in, in none of this shit. Like Big Boogie and Ali. I, I like Big Boogie. I fuck with him. I ain't throwing him in no, in no foul. I been told y'all, been let y'all know that, that, you know, there was a hit out on kids and everything like that. The news let y'all know that. I had to wait for the news to drop it, but I could have told y'all that a while ago. It's a six figure. It's not 40,000 to 60,000. That's not true, but it is what it is. The the worst part about this is, is bro, while you putting spotlight on Big Juke and everybody else and everything like that, you bring a spotlight to your people. There's a rumor that some BS didn't happen behind what you did. How true that is, I don't know, and I really personally don't care. But it's cats of PRE when this Rico happens that's going down. You making it a little hot. Be careful what you say because the spotlight that you bring is going to heat up everybody around you. This is why I don't even do roll call anymore. Man, that you know this person, that person. Nah, because everybody ain't for the internet, bro. And you wild and saying you're going to do something to these people and these people and everything. Because that's a free body if they decide to run with security. Not only that. 
you can technically get charged for terroristic threats. Nobody even got to do nothing. So any BS happen with the PRE side of anything, bruh, do you realize that you're making a bigger spectacle? It's not as... It's not as though people can't understand you, can't feel your pain. Rest in peace, young Dolph. Y'all want y'all justice, but y'all from the streets. Y'all want street justice. I overstand that part. I'm one of them ones. But at the same time, when you get put in positions of notoriety and slight fame, you have to be careful. You got to be careful because you don't know the poison that you dishing and the poison that you taking. I can tell this is consuming, little buddy. So did he dry snitch? Nah, not really. I'm going to tell you why. Police already know all this stuff. Big Juke got picked up. The same day that uh, Hernandez, I mean that Govin Hernandez or Hernandez Govin, how do you say Cuz name? Cuz got picked up that same time too. He got questioned and he got released. So they already know all this stuff. So I get how people say, bro, dry snitching, dry snitching. But on the real if anything happened to them people, he dry snitched on himself, not them other cats. All that information that he said is already out. It's nothing new. I'm telling you what I know. Not nothing that ain't freaking hidden. What he said is true. I can back that 100%. 2,000 page indictment is going to drop. It's going to arrest a lot of gangs in Memphis. All you cats in Memphis that's been running around reckless wild and everything like that, you don't think for 10 seconds that the police ain't letting you do that? Let me ask y'all this simple question, right? Southside Chicago. Bad, horrible place, right? People believe that. But where do the Chicago White Sox play? Southside Chicago. Do y'all know they keep the police there and it kill off a lot of violence and all that stuff? Let me do it this way. Do you think if a president came to Memphis, something going to happen to him? No. Do you think if they held a major event or anything like that, that's like the Olympics or the World Cup or anything, that they wouldn't kill off that violence? Yes, they would. They are allowing you cats to do this. You just ain't caught up yet. But when they catch you, you're going to be like, oh, my gosh. You don't think truth and sentencing getting passed? Wasn't because something else is about to happen? Please, make sure y'all subscribe, turn on this bell to stay notified. What y'all think? Y'all think Cuz dry snitching? Do you think he said too much? Do you think he's too emotional? I mean, you already had Buddy Lies say that he didn't smack him with his good hand. So did he smack you with his bad one? Y'all let me know your thoughts on this one, man. I'll catch you on the next one. We gone. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street of Music, Setty Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video.